Okay, hi everyone. My name is Ananda and I'd like to welcome you to massage practice with Boston Doula Circle tonight. This is um, part of an ongoing series where we are, are hoping to share uh, massage with, with each other throughout the year. Um, I am the new director of Boston Doula Circle. I have been a doula since 1995 and I've been a massage therapist since I believe it was 2002 or 2003. Um, and this event is open to doulas, uh, birth workers, expectant parents, and anyone who is who's interested in um, sharing the joy of massage. I'm a retired licensed massage therapist as well. And I've taught massage for, um, for many years and I've, I've had a vision over the years of creating a, a space where people could come together um, and practice on a, a, a regular basis because massage is something that is meant to be experienced more than just one time. So we're, uh, we've gotten this series up and running and stay tuned for, for future events and we'll, uh, we'll see how things work out for, for people to, to get together, um, perhaps on a, a monthly basis. Tonight we are going to be um, sharing the experience of massage for lying down positions. And the techniques that I'll be showing you can be used in everyday life. They can be used during pregnancy and they can be used during the actual event of childbirth. And you don't need to have experience with massage to be uh, with us here tonight. We really, we really want to think of this as um, the, the, the right and the right to safe and comforting touch that um, all of us are entitled to, to have. And sometimes we get a little bit fancy and we, we call it massage therapy. But um, what, we're, what we're here for right now is, uh, is really our purpose is to, sh is to share safe and comforting touch. So we're, we're not, attempting to train anyone as a professional or clinical massage therapist, but we want to bring this more into everyone's lives. So thank you for being here. I'm joined by my friend, Philip, who is going to um, help me as I demonstrate tonight. And hopefully you're here with your massage partner live. If, if not, if you're watching by yourself, that's okay too. There will be a recording available and please you know, follow along when you, when you can, but you'll be able to, um, to, you know, to, to directly learn as I'm, as I'm demonstrating tonight. And something that I usually, um, mention is just a quick note about precautions that we take. And that is if someone has ever uh, experienced, had an experience of having a blood clot, or if, if someone knew that they have a blood clotting disorder, we would actually ask them uh, not to receive massage today until they've had a conversation with their, their doctor and come to an agreement about what would, what would be a way to, to safely receive massage. Um, and when we think about pregnancy in particular, during pregnancy, our blood clotting factors are increased um, a bit. And during the postpartum period, approximately the first two months postpartum, the person who has given birth um, has even, even uh, their clotting factors are increased even more. And what that means is that um, there's a, a bit of an increased risk of a, of a clot forming. The most likely places, place uh, that that could form is on the legs. And I think of it as the inseam area, the inner surfaces of the legs. So we, we just wanna um, avoid that area on a pregnant person 
and we can touch the legs of a pregnant person with light touch and i'll remind folks about that for someone who's in those early couple of months postpartum we would actually skip the legs entirely which is okay there's a lot that we can do and really enjoy in terms of um, touch for the for the upper body so let's just keep that in mind um, I right now everyone who's watching live is uh, muted and if you'd like to if you have questions that you need to ask or comments um, throughout the session you can you can put those into our chat box and I will answer those as I get the chance to do so. And you can help each other answer questions if you just need something repeated and someone else is able to help out and, and answer, that would, be, um, that would be terrific. So we're gonna be, um, again, experiencing massage for lying down positions. And so that refers to um, someone lying on their side, lying on their front, or lying on their back. And if you're here with your massage partner, I'd like you to, to designate a partner A and a partner B. And if one of you is currently pregnant, let's have that person be partner A uh, to start. So partner A will receive massage first. Partner B will give massage first. And when we get to about the halfway point of our time together, we'll take a break, a short break, and then we'll trade roles and um, reciprocate. So everyone will get a chance to, to give as well as to receive. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna get set up. Um, and we're going to start out in a position of lying on the back. And I'm going to give you a few options. I'll show you what that might look like here on my sofa. And once I've shown that to you, I'm actually going to move to a massage table. So probably the easiest thing for most people to do would be to, um, to do this practice on the surface of a bed. Um, so if that's, if that's something that you can easily do, you can go ahead and move to that space. Um, the sofa is also a possibility. The bed will be a little bit easier for you and it'll be a little easier to copy what I'm gonna show you on the massage table, if that's possible. So um, a couple of options that we have, I wanna give you some choices here because if the receiver of the massage right now partner A, if that person is currently pregnant, um, we just wanna get them positioned uh, nice, nicely and safely. And um, the, there's, a, there's a few ways that we can do that. So I'm gonna ask Philip to help me demonstrate. And Philip, if you could just lie on your back across the sofa to start, that would be wonderful. Oh, here. Let's have it. Um, yep. To 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 our left, right there. And the only thing we need to keep in mind during pregnancy, as you've probably heard, the the recommendation is usually not to lay flat on the back. Um, after about the first trimester of pregnancy as the baby um, starts to grow and the abdomen gets, gets heavier. The idea is that we don't want to put um, too much pressure onto one of the large um, blood vessels that's located in the back, the, the vena cava. It's a little bit to the right of our spine. And that's why you'll often hear the advice that people who are pregnant um, should try to sleep on their left side if, if possible. And if we can't follow that advice 100% of the time, we think that that's probably um, okay generally for the baby, but we wanna have an awareness of this. Um, so if someone is on their back, 
all we need to do is give them a tilt to the left. Um, and I'm going to demonstrate how to do this. If you're a doula, you may have done this before or seen this um, seen this done during you know during um, someone's someone's birth scenario. So I'm going to ask Philip to um, tilt himself a bit to his left, and I'm just going to tuck a pillow underneath his low back area. And that's going to give him a tilt of, um, I'm going to take a look here. I think we achieved 20 to 30 degrees. That's what we're looking for. And that's all we need. And then I'd still be able to have access to, um, to massaging him. And we've provided the tilt that's necessary. In this position, if someone is still is pregnant and still not comfortable, we, we have another, another option. But if you are comfortable either flat on your back because you're not pregnant or with this tilt, if you are pregnant, then please stay, stay in that position. Okay, that's gonna, that's gonna be the easiest one. Um, if this is not comfortable, meaning that you feel um, any dizziness, um, rapid heartbeat, a little trouble breathing or nausea, those are all um, symptoms of um, low blood pressure, and again, that that um, baby and, and pregnant belly pressing on that blood vessel. If you have any of those symptoms, then let's not use this uh, this position. The other option that you have, and Philip, if you could um, sit sit up straight for me, and I'll and I'll get you set up. That's perfect. We're going to create um, a. Uh, like a semi reclining position at an angle of about 45 degrees. And I'm going to use several pillows to do that. And I'm also going to remove my earring, which is clicking against my microphone. Okay. So here's what, so this requires, requires quite a few pillows. <laughs> Um, but if you'd like to try this, or if you're, if you're pregnant, you may already know this about yourself. You may already have the pillows that you need. So let me, um, let me try setting this up. And let's see how this, let's see how this looks. Let's have you, how does that feel? That's great. Okay. And then could you bring this arm across your, your body just so that we can see the angle that you're at. Um, I would say we almost achieved a 45 degree angle, not quite, if you can sit up just a little bit, mm -hmm. a little bit more. <clears throat> okay, and now try that again. Um, so that's what we're looking for. And we could use this as our, we would call this our lying down position on the back, but we've actually got somebody in a, at a, about a 45 degree angle. And if this was what felt better for the for a pregnant person, this is how we could do um, massage. And we would call this a lying down position. And again, I still have access to my massage partner in the same way I would as if they were totally horizontal. So those are your options. Get yourselves um, set set up. If you're if you're on a bed, it can be helpful to be. Um, to have the to have your head at the foot of the bed, uh, and that's because at some point we'd like to have access. We'd like to to be standing behind you to give you a bit of a shoulder massage, and we can we can usually do that a bit better if you're at the foot of the bed or if you're kind of crosswise. Um, but you can we're gonna we're gonna adjust our position as we go along, and you are welcome to. Uh, you know, adjust as you need to as well. Okay, so give us just a moment to um, to set up our next arrangement. Oh. And and Philip, if you could, oh, this if is you the could table. get up, yeah. Okay. And you can start. All right, and you are going to um, be lying down on your back okay. with your head at this end.
Okay, so if you've been with me before, you know that the way we usually start out is by simply by making hand contact with our partner. And we're going to kind of test out the quality of our of our touch. And you can start by resting your your two hands um, on your on your partner's shoulder. So I'm kind of um, pointing my fingers forward in front of me. If you'd like to take a look at the screen, and I'm just going to place that right onto the shoulder that's closest to me. Okay, and, and as we rest our hands here, let's just notice um, that we'd like to be making full contact with our, with our hands and our partner's body. And that means that the palms of my hand are in contact, the, uh, my fingers are in contact, as well, and this whole broad area of my hand, and again, if you'd like to look at the screen, this whole, this whole area of my hand is gonna be making contact. Um, it's not just my fingertips that are making contact, and it's not just the heels of my hands that are, that are kind of pressing in and making contact. I'm really using this entire surface of my hand to make contact, and we're just gonna start by noticing um, what it what it feels like to make that kind of contact, that's the quality of touch we're gonna use for this type of massage based on Swedish massage. We're gonna be using gliding strokes. Um, again, not just our fingertips, but we're really going to use, um, make contact with our entire hand. And so what I'm gonna do first is I am going to, um, Stand to my partner's side. If you're using um, the surface of a bed, it depends on what the height of the bed is. So if you're giving the massage, you might be able to stand next to the bed if the bed is fairly high up. If it's a little lower down, then just you can just pull up a chair next to the bed. So I do have my sofa here. If I wanted to, I could sit next to the person who's receiving the massage. Um, I could also get onto a bed with my partner if, I, if the bed was large enough. Um, and, you know, there's a variety of ways we can position ourselves. Um, but let's, let's think about the idea that the person giving the massage is, is standing or sitting next to the person who is, is lying down. I think that'll be a little bit easier than if you're actually on the same bed and then you find yourself kind of tilting and, and contorting a bit. If you're, if you're on a separate surface, um, you've got more space to, uh, to do, your, do your work. So I'm standing to my partner's side. I'm gonna rest one hand, my hand that's closer to my partner's body is gonna, is gonna rest on the shoulder. And now I'm just gonna start to, with that full hand contact, glide down my partner's arm. And I'm gonna do that again. I'm gonna come back up to the top and I'm gonna glide down the arm and off of the fingertips. And let's repeat that a few times. Back to the shoulder, I'm um, facing, I'm kind of standing at my partner's waist. I'm, I'm facing their head, resting my hand on the shoulder and gliding down the arm and off the fingertips. I'm gonna do that a few more times. Starting at the shoulder, gliding down the arm, all the way off the fingertips, gliding down the arm, hand and fingertips. I'm going at a pretty fairly slow pace. And most of our strokes are gonna be done at a slow pace. 
So notice if you're moving a little bit quickly, you might want to try cutting your the speed in half of what you're doing. And so just a little variation on this is I'm going to start gliding down the arm again. When I get about halfway down to about the, the elbow, I'm going to take my other hand, if you'd like to take a look at the screen. And I'm going to um, follow with my second hand, I'm going to follow what the first hand is doing. So now I'm going to put my other hand on the shoulder and I've got both of my hands on the arms now. One is already halfway down. And then the other one comes behind it and glides off. And then I go back to the top, glide down the arm. When I get about halfway, I add my second hand. And now I've got one hand following the other. And I'm going to repeat that if you need to watch what I'm doing. One hand followed by the other. One hand followed by the other. And you can see it's, we get to be fairly repetitive about this. And that repetition is part of what's comforting. It can be one hand followed by the other. And if folks have questions, uh, you can try popping them into the chat and I can kind of see the chat box from where I'm standing. So I'll, I'll, uh, I'll try to help with that. Um, and now that we've, we've been gliding down the arm, I'm going to go back to just using one hand. I'm going to glide down, come off the fingertips, and then I'm going to go back up in the other direction. And I'm going to come back down. So now I'm just I'm going I'm going down the arm and then up again. So let's do that a few times. And I'd still like to come all the way off the fingertips and then glide back up and go go up as far as I can. I really want to go up to um, the top of the shoulder. I don't want to just get rub part of the arm. I really want to go from all the way from the farthest end of this part of the body to the farthest end on the other side. So hand all the way to shoulder. And something else that I can do, I'm going to move the camera a little bit closer. So uh, I'm still working on the arm. And if this is just for a little bit of a different sensation, I can take my hands and again, kind of point my fingers forward. And I can just do some small squeezes on the arm and I can make my way up and down the arm. So I'm taking my hands, pointing my fingers forward, kind of wrapping them around the arm uh, the, a little bit so I can maintain that full hand contact. And I'm just going to do small squeeze, small squeeze, small squeeze. And I'm going to make my way up and then back down. I'm on, I'm on the arm. So try that with me. I come all the way down to the hand and I do these small squeezes. There we go, small squeezes on the arm. And it gives us a little bit of a different sensation than the gliding stroke. So now we're doing a compression stroke. Not, not using very heavy pressure, but I'm, I'm providing a little bit of a different sensation. And then when I get to uh, 
get to the, the end of this part of the body, which is the hand, I'm going to, um, I'm going to do some squeezing of the, of the hand itself. And I'm going to see if you can I'm going to kind of turn my partner's hand a bit so that you can, you can see it. I'm picking up my partner's hand in my two hands and the back of his hand is facing upward and the palm of his hand is facing downward. And I'm going to simply grasp it from both sides. So if you can take a look here, I hope you can see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna, again, gently squeeze and I'm gonna do small squeezes and I'm gonna make my way kind of down the hand, maybe back up again. I'm just squeezing the hand from both sides. And I can do this whether my partner's hand is facing down or facing up. I can grasp their hand from both sides and do these squeezes up and down. And I don't even, I don't know if it would quite be comfortable. Are you able to face your yeah. hand up? Yeah. So depending on what, uh, you know, what angle the person is lying in, I could also squeeze if the, if the hand was face up, do the same thing. I'm just grasping the hand on both sides. Does that feel, yes. feel okay? okay? Good. That's great. So small squeezes up and down. And then the final thing I can do is I can focus on the actual, uh, my, my partner's fingernails. And what I can do here is I can take my thumbs, if you want to take a look at the screen, my, um, I'm holding, I've got my fingers underneath my partner's hand and my thumbs are over the top. And with my thumbs, I'm just gonna go squeeze, squeeze, squeeze right onto the fingernail beds. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take one finger at a time and I'm gonna squeeze the fingernail and then I'll move to the next finger or maybe I'll take one in each hand. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna give a firm squeeze to each, um, to each fingernail. I mean, it's not just the fingernail, I'm squeezing the, you know, the, the top um, segment of the finger with my thumb on the nail, my fingers on the other side, the pad of the finger, and I'm just, I'm squeezing those the fingernails. And that's often a nice sensation. So you can try that out. And while I'm in this, kind of um, upper body. Let's see, one more thing I can do over here. Yeah, this, this movement is a little bit different. And I'm going to, um, I'm going to, I'm going to bend my partner, my partner's arm at the elbow. Um, and so my partner is probably awake if they're getting drowsy. Um, this, this just takes a little, I have, to, I have to communicate with my partner just a little bit right now. So if they're falling fast asleep, maybe we wouldn't do it. But if they're awake, we're gonna, we're gonna communicate a little bit. What I wanna do is I'm gonna lift my partner's, um, my partner's hand and bend their arm at the elbow. So I, uh, I hope you can see that. That's what that's gonna look like. And what I wanna do here is I wanna ask my partner to keep their arm um, just very loose and limp, like a piece of cooked spaghetti. I don't want them to help me. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm actually going to lift. I want, I want you, Philip, to just let your arm go limp. I'm going to, the place I'm really lifting from is their wrist. And when I do that, I want, I want Philip's arm to be, um, to, I want him to totally let go. I don't want him to help me lift his own arm. So I'm lifting his arm. And when I've got a hold of his arm by the, um, the wrist, I'm gonna give it a bit of a jiggle. So if you wanna take a look at the screen and, I'm, and, I, and I don't want him to help me with this. I want him to just let, let it be loose. I'm gonna give it a bit of a shake and his, you know, his loose arm is, um, it's just jiggling as I hold it. 
And if, if it feels a little awkward or you notice that the person is kind of helping out and there's some tension in their arm, you know, just remind them, try to make your arm very light and just let me, let me hold it and let me rock, uh, rock your arm a bit. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the arm slowly away from his body so that it comes out um, at a 90 degree angle. I'm still rocking and I'm bringing it back in. And I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna place it down. I'm gonna try to do that on the other side um, and see if we get a better, a better camera angle here as well. So what I was doing was, um, I'm, I'm just picking up my partner's wrist and I'm bending their arm at the elbow and he knows that I, I don't want him to, to help me out. I don't want him to add any tension. So I want the arm to be very limp and loose. And then I'm gonna to start to jiggle it. So that might be a better camera angle. That's what we're going for. So feel free to, to, uh, to try this out. And the, the more limp and loose that your partner's arm is, it's, that's gonna make it a little bit easier. And then what I did was, uh, I've got his arm right next to his body. If you wanna take a look here, I'm doing my rocking. I'm going to actually bring his elbow away from his body. Now his arm is at more of a 90 degree angle. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't want to, I don't want to go too far with the range of motion here, but I'm still dangling and rocking out at a 90 degree angle from the body. And I'm going to bring it back to his side and let it and lay it down. Okay, so um, we have a bit more we can do here with the upper body. And one thing that we can do is I can rest my hand once again um, on the, the shoulder that's closest to me, uh, the upper chest area. And what I can do now with my with a gliding stroke is I can just I can just glide from one shoulder to the other. So take a look at what I'm doing here. One shoulder gliding across to the other side. And I'm gonna bring the camera even a little bit closer because I think it will we'll be able to see that. Okay. So here I go, I'm taking one hand, placing it on the shoulder closest to me, full hand contact. So you can see here, the palm of my hand is just flat against my partner's body. My fingers are flat against my partner's body. I'm not using only my fingertips to massage and I'm not using just the heel of my hand to massage, but I'm uh, this whole broad area of my hand is making contact and then I can glide across the top. And, and maybe, you know, there's probably many people who haven't necessarily received massage in this, this, this area, it's the upper chest. Um, if a person has breasts, it would be right above the breasts and it might feel, um, you know, like it's getting close to being fairly um, intimate, but I'm just using one hand. If I had two hands next to each other, then I'd probably be getting a little bit too low on the chest for somebody to stay comfortable. So I'm just using my one hand, keeping it up top. And, and, and from, in my experience, people like this stroke. So as a doula, when I've been with someone in labor and I'm to their side, I often introduce this stroke. And, you know, try, I try to be careful and aware of whether I'm, um, it's comfortable for them. Okay, so also, 
as part of this um, upper body area. Um, now I can offer a little bit of um, massage to the shoulders themselves. And when, I, when I'm talking about the shoulders right now, I'm referring to this, this, this fleshy area um, right at the very top of the torso, but I'm not coming all the way out to the corners. I don't mean the shoulders as in the far corners of the shoulder. I mean the, the area of the shoulders that's closer to the person's neck, the fleshy trapezius muscle that sits sits up top. And if I were to point to my own trapezius muscle, it would be right here. So I'm talking about this area of the shoulder that is pretty close to the neck. And we can give that a nice squeeze. That's an area that lots of people have probably at some point in life given someone um, a shoulder rub or received a shoulder rub. That's the area that we're in. So when someone's lying down, again, if I, if I have access, um, I, might have, I might have to stand to their side. Let's say someone's in bed, perhaps a hospital bed. Um, I may not be able to get all the way behind um, the, the bed. So I may, I may have to come from the side. So you can adapt a little bit. The easiest thing is if I could stand right behind their head. And then I'm gonna take my fingertips and I'm just gonna slide them under the shoulders. As so take a look at what I'm doing. Slide the fingertips under the trapezius. And on top, I've got my thumbs. So fingers underneath, thumbs on top. And, and between my fingers and my thumbs, I'm gonna grasp that fleshy, top of the shoulders, that fleshy trapezius muscle. And I'm gonna squeeze, 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 moderate pressure. I don't have to do, be, I don't have to be the Incredible Hulk. It doesn't have to be super hard, but I'll put a, maybe a little more pressure than what I was doing earlier. I was going pretty lightly earlier on. So squeeze, medium pressure, squeeze and let go. Again, if you want a, a visual, you can look at what I'm doing. But fingers are underneath, thumbs are on top. We can squeeze. Is this pressure okay for you? Okay. I'm going to repeat that. I usually say to repeat a stroke about five or ten times so that your, your hands can get comfortable doing it and the person receiving it can kind of settle, settle into enjoying that. Okay, um, I'm also, let's see, going to quickly, we're gonna finish up this position in just a moment. Uh, let's see. While I'm in this area of the person's body, I could offer to give them some massage to their face um, and to their head and you can ask permission that might be an area of the body that feels a little bit vulnerable, but it can also feel really good to receive massage. So you can just ask them if they'd like that. I'll say to Philip, you know, would you like any scalp massage? Yes. And so he says, yes. So I'm just going to, now I am going to use my fingertips. This will be maybe the one, there'll be one or two times where we're going to go for the fingertips. So I'm going to kind of um, get my fingertips into a little bit of a claw shape, as you can see here on the screen. And I'm just going to put my my tips of my fingers um, onto the person's hair and scalp, and I'll make circles, kind of a shampooing motion. And I'll move my hands around a little bit. So I'm not trying not to stay just in one spot. I wanna also move maybe a little bit more to the back and the sides and keep my hands moving a bit so that I'm not just rubbing on one spot of the scalp, which might be a little bit, might not give us the effect we want. So if we keep the hands moving, um, that's nice. So I'm gonna see, I'm gonna, I might save some of the, the strokes for the face for a little bit later. Um, what I also want to, uh, just quickly show that was the upper body. So I'll show you the lower body. Yeah. 
That's not as odd. No, no. Okay. So again, if, if we were touching the legs of a pregnant woman, we would use our lightest possible touch. Um, and if somebody, somebody was in the early weeks postpartum, we would skip the legs. Um, if somebody's not pregnant or postpartum, then they might enjoy, uh, you know, a, a little bit more, a little bit more pressure, but it can be very nice to receive um, light pressure. And to do that, let's see, um, I'm going to start, I'm going to start like at my partner's hip. So I'm, I'm going to lay my hands, uh, my hands down. And I've kind of got one ahead of the other. So if you want to take a look at what I'm doing here, in fact, I'll just start with, um, I'll just start with one hand and I'm going to rest that on my partner's hip. And then I'm going to start gliding down the leg all the way to the, um, from the upper leg to the lower leg. And I'm going to keep going all the way up the foot and off the toes, just like I did with the earlier with the hand, I, I made that long stroke all the way from one end of the, this limb, this body part, I keep going. I take it all the way to the end. I glide over the top of the foot and off the fingertips. So I'm doing this with one hand. I could also use uh, two hands if I wanted. So let, now I can go back in the opposite direction. So I'll keep my hands pretty much just kind of near each other. One can be ahead of the other one. So take a look here. You see that I'm gliding. I need to walk a little bit. You know, the, the legs of an adult are, are fairly long. So I need to be able to move my, my body and just kind of walk. <laughs> next to their body, walk, walk, walk. If I was sitting in a chair, I might scoot my chair back and forth. If you're in a hospital, it's nice to find a chair with wheels on it if you're in a hospital room. And when I get to the feet, just like we did with the hands, I'm going to I'm gonna squeeze. So I'm gonna take my two hands with my fingers pointing forward and I'm just gonna wrap my hands on either side of the foot and squeeze, squeeze, small squeezes from top to bottom. So let's try that out. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. We're using compressions. small squeezes up and down. And when we get to the end, end of the toes, we can do what we did on the hands and we can feel for the, uh, the nails and we can squeeze the nails. So again, I'm taking my thumbs over the top, my fingers underneath the foot and my thumbs are gonna make contact. Turn your foot a little bit here. My thumbs are going to make contact. My massage partner has socks on, but I can kind of feel where the toes are. So I'm going to squeeze those, the nail beds of each, of each toe. Squeeze, squeeze from one to the next. Um, and there's a stroke I really would like to, sh to show you. So I'm going to include it here. Um, in order for me to, to demonstrate it, you know, normally I would kind of stay on the side that I'm, uh, that I've been working on and I'll switch to the other side. But right now I'm going to switch to the other side because of the, the camera angle. I want you to be able to see what I'm doing. Um, so if I were standing, if someone's got their, you know, they're, they're, uh, they're laying on their back, um, and their legs and feet are stretched out. I'm standing at the, you know, the foot of the, the bed, let's say. Um, I'm going to, I'm going to turn one way or the other. I'm, I'm kind of between the legs and I'm going to turn and just face one of the feet. And I'm going to, um, 
place my fingers uh, over the top of the foot. Uh, so fingers over the top, that means my thumbs are coming to the underside of the foot. So if you wanna take a look at the camera, I'm gonna wrap my hands around somebody's foot in this, in this way, thumbs to the underside and then fingers over the top. And then once I've gotten there, I'm gonna grip um, with a little bit of firmness, not, I'm not gonna, you know, I don't wanna hurt somebody, but I'm gonna grip on with a, just a little bit of pressure. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna rotate my uh, hands kind of back and forth and back That's and really forth nice. like this. <laughs> Philip likes this. And when I was in massage school, this was called the dessert stroke. So it's really my thumbs that are doing the work. I mean, my fingers are kind of sliding along the top of the foot, but behind what it looks like from behind, I, I'll try to show you on this side is, um, and you can just rest your foot. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then this is what it looks like from the underside where you see my, my thumbs are actually, they're, they're, the thumbs are doing the squeezing. So feel free to try out the dessert stroke. Okay, um, so let's go for just a couple more minutes and then we're going to take a short break. Um, so I'm gonna ask, uh, we're gonna try, um, this was laying on the back, we're gonna try laying on the side. And so I'm gonna ask Philip to carefully, since we're on a narrow massage table, adjust himself to lay on his left side and face the, the screen there. My left side's here. Oh, I'm so sorry. You're, it'll, it'll be your right side yeah, then. <laughs> Thank you, way. yeah. Okay, um, so just go ahead and the person receiving the massage can just turn to their side. And now they'd probably like a pillow under their head. So I'm gonna offer that okay. to, um, to yes. Philip. Is that comfortable Perfect. for you? Okay. And then a lot of us like a pillow between our knees. As do I. Okay. Um, and so for a sideline position, we have a, a number of um, a number of things we can do. Um, so we can one thing I can do is if I'm able to again stand or sit um, behind my partner. That means I'm going to ask my partner to to lay with their back near the edge of the, you know, the bed or the, the sofa. And you're fine, you're, you're, oh, close, okay. you're close enough. Okay. Um, but I wouldn't want, necessarily want my part, like if it was a larger bed, I wouldn't necessarily want my partner's back to be like facing the middle of the bed. I actually want the, the, their back to be facing the edge, of the, the edge of the bed where I am, because I'm not on the bed. But however you can get access, if you're giving the massage and you're on the bed yourself, then um, then it doesn't doesn't matter too much. Um, but because I'm not on the same surface, I'm asking him to bring his back toward the edge. So here's one technique that we can use here. Um, I can take my two hands and I can just rest one of them on his shoulder and the and the other one on the hip area. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, um, I'll start with my hand that's on the shoulder. I'm making full hand contact, kind of wrapping my hand around. And in fact, I'm going to take my hand and make it into the shape of a C. So take a look at the screen. And I'm going to um, place my C onto my partner's shoulder. So the thumb is closer to me. The fingers are are going over the front of his body. And with this hand, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna start to glide down the side of the torso until I get to the hip. And that's where my other hand comes in. This hand is also going to make a C shape. And I'm gonna place this hand uh, next to the first hand on the C, uh, on the hip. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna lift the first hand away and I'm gonna go back up with the second hand. So I'm doing that with my hand in a C shape. And then I come back down with the first hand. This is called the C into the C. So I've got two C's right here, if you wanna take a look. And the, the, the hand that's closer to the hip is just gonna glide, glide up the side of the torso. And then I'm gonna come back down with the first hand. So, so see if you can try this out. 
One hand glides from the shoulder to the hip. The second hand starts at the hip and glides upward. And just let yourself get used to, let your hands get used to what this feels like. It might be a little bit unfamiliar or awkward, um, but sometimes it's really nice to massage the side of the torso, the side of the rib cage. I really like how that feels myself. So one hand from hip to shoulder, the other hand from shoulder down to the hip, hip up to the shoulder, shoulder down to the hip. So, so I like that, that one's called the C into the C. Um, and I think we're gonna pause right now and take a quick break and then we'll we're, we're gonna we're gonna come back and we're gonna trade roles um and when we come back partner b is going to receive a massage and partner b is going to start out lying on their on their side just like we're doing we're doing right now and we're going to continue with some of the side lying strokes so let's take a break for five minutes um if you're watching live my my screen says that it's 7.58, so let's come back at 8.03, and uh, we'll keep going. And if you have questions that you'd like to drop into the chat box, I can answer them when we get back. If you just want to let me know whether you're getting the hang of some of these things or if um, there's anything you want me to do differently, please uh, leave a message, and we'll come back at 8.03. Okay, welcome back. So we've now switched roles and partner B is going to be receiving. Um, and this is a really nice thing to do. Even with pregnancy massage, sometimes people think that the pregnant person is going to receive massage and we're only gonna go in one direction. But I like to, to um, reverse it for a couple of reasons um, during pregnancy. Uh, if someone's partnered, then partners are usually, you know, often in need of TLC as well. Um, and they certainly deserve it. And also the best way to learn is to receive as well as give so that you know what, what sensations are being created by the massage that you're doing. So let's have partner B lay down on their side and they can have a pillow under the head. And if they'd like to have a pillow between the knees, they can do that. And since I'm standing next to this table or if this were a bed that I were standing or sitting next to, I'm gonna ask um, my partner to scoot toward me so that I can, um, I can reach, their, I can reach their, their back basically. And we're gonna start out by resting our two hands on our partner's shoulder. So I'm behind my partner, resting my two hands on their shoulder. And again, we're noticing the quality of um, how, we're, how we're touching, how we're making contact. And we're learning how to make full hand contact for the style of massage that we're gonna be doing. Uh, gliding strokes based on Swedish massage. So I'm noticing that my Palms of my hands are in contact with my partner's body. My fingers are in contact. Um, and if you look at the camera, just this whole area of my hand is flat on my partner's body. Um, palm and fingers, I'm not only using the fingertips um, to massage and I'm not pressing in with the heels of my hands. I'm laying my hands flat on my partner's body. And so what I'm gonna do here, uh, since I'm standing behind, is I'm gonna take my two hands and keep them side by side. And I'm gonna slowly start to glide downward um, on the side of the torso. And maybe I'll go a little bit, a uh, little bit further. So starting at the shoulder, gliding downward, and I'm gonna keep going past the hip, maybe down to the uh, side of the knee. And now I'm gonna glide back up the side of the leg. 
over the hip and on the side of the torso, I'm gonna keep gliding. So if you wanna watch me do this a few times, you can, or if you're ready to jump in and do the same thing, um, go right ahead. So I've got my two hands next to each other and I'm just gliding all the way up and down the body. And I'm doing this on the person's side because they're laying on their side. They've got one side down and the side that's up is the side that I can easily touch. My hands are side by side, fully making hand contact, just getting used to that sensation of the palms of your hand and your fingers flat on the person's body. Kind of relax your hands. You don't want your, if you take a look here, you don't want your hands to be like stiff <laughs> as you massage up and down. You want them to soften up and you almost want to kind of um, round your hands over a little bit so that you're, you're uh, wrapping your fingers around the person. And, um, and that's how we can, again, keep that full hand contact because I'm not, I'm not gliding on my partner's, my partner's body is not like as flat as a, a board. It's got a lot of round um, surfaces to it. So I want to wrap my fingers around. This does take a little bit of walking because right now I'm going from one end all the way to the other. I can go past, I stopped at the knees, but I can go past the knees. I can keep going. Now I'm down at my partner's feet and then come back up. So if I'm standing, I'll need to walk a little bit to get um, from one end to the, the other. If I were sitting down, um, if I were sitting down, I'd probably stay on kind of like either the top half of the body, like I'm doing right now, or the bottom half, because the, it would be hard to move my seat, you know, back and forth and back and forth. So I would probably um, do like what I'm doing right now, just the upper body. And then I, I can just sit in one place. I'm facing my partner's back. So let's do that a few more times. Hands are side by side. And now I'm gonna scoot myself toward the lower part of the body. Again, I'm, si I'm sitting down, but I'm not gonna move myself back and forth, but I will move at one point so that I can, I can now um, massage the lower half. And my touch is um, gentle, it's like, uh, soft pressure, maybe somewhere between soft and medium pressure, but there's no heavy duty, um, firm pressure for the, the kind of massage that we're doing. That would just be, that would be a different style. And that's not what we're doing. We're doing more of a gliding relaxation massage. And then something else I'm going to offer to my massage partner, if someone's laying on their side, um, if someone's pregnant, they're they're often spending a lot of time figuring out how how am I going to get comfortable um, in a sleeping position. It can be a little bit tricky. But we've got pillow under the head, um, pillow between the knees, and we can also put a pillow in front of them just for them to kind of hug like that, and it gives a little bit of stability. Um, so that they're not kind of falling forward or back as they lay on their side. Does that pillow feel like yeah. it's in a good position for you? Okay. So also I'm still coming from behind here. Something I can do now is I can glide down the arm. So I'm standing behind my partner and I'm going to use, let's see, I'm going to use, um, if I were to kind of face upstream, like toward my partner's head, I'm, I'm standing around the middle of my partner's body and I'm facing upward. I'm gonna use the hand that's closer to my partner. And with that hand, tuck that down a little bit. Yeah, but you can keep your arm wrapped around it. Yeah, so with this hand that's closer, I'm gonna start at the shoulder. I'm gonna rest my hand there and make that nice full hand contact. And then slowly, I'm gonna start gliding down 
upper arm, lower arm, and then glide down the hand and come back up. Gliding on the lower arm to the upper arm. So let's do that a few times. We're just looking for ways to kind of visit and say hello to each of the body parts. So right now I'm saying hello to my partner's arm. I love having my arms massaged. Not everyone loves that as much as I do, but, um, but some people really like it. So something as simple as gliding up and down a person's arm for some people can be really comforting. So I wanna ask them, um, would you like me to keep doing what I'm doing? Would you like me to stay in this area? Um, and they might say, yeah, or that's enough for now. Or actually I meant to tell you I'm really ticklish in that area. So we check in and just, and just ask them that. So now I was able to um, massage the, the arms. Um, I'm gonna show you something else that is kind of interesting. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move this a little lower. My partner's gonna have their arm in front. And what I have access to right now on the side, I actually have access to the side of the rib cage. And this is just an interesting area to know about, um, especially, especially for somebody who's pregnant, because as you um, may know, during pregnancy, people can become short of breath for a few different reasons. The, the belly is expanding and it's pushing, it's, it's you know, squeezing the lungs out of place and giving them a little bit less space. The other thing that's happening is that the, um, the muscles of the torso are, are working a bit harder to hold everything up, <laughs> to hold the, you know, the growing belly. Um, and so there can be a tightness in the rib cage area. And so here I am, and this, this spot right here in the middle of my partner's torso, it's kind of like halfway, halfway down their torso. Um, I have some access right now to the rib cage area. And what I can do is I can just glide my fingers across this area. And, and I'm putting, a, I am putting a little bit of pressure into this. This is not my lightest touch, I'm, go I'm going a little bit more firmly because I wanna help kind of work out the tightness in this area. Does that feel okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I wanna be careful not to tickle the person and see if it feels okay to them. But what I'm doing is with my fingertips, if you take a look at the camera here, I'm spreading my fingertips out just slightly. And that means I can get my fingers in between the ribs. And they're little, the little muscles in between the ribs are the intercostal muscles. And if I can make contact with those tiny little muscles in between the bones of the ribs, I can feel good and it can kind of help loosen things up a little bit for somebody who's um, feeling a lot of tightness there and feeling like it's, it's, it's not, they can't, you know, fully take in their, their breath the way they usually do. So that's, that's a possible stroke, just crosswise on the ribs to the side of the body. Okay, and so also um, in the sideline position, I, I can do a few other things. Um, let's see, I'm gonna have you, Philip, um, in just a moment, I'm going to have you change positions, but, for, but from where we, where we already are right now, um, when, when we were partners were reversed, we did a little massage on the scalp. So I'm going to offer that and ask if, if that's something my partner would like, would you like some scalp massage? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So now I am going to, um, use my fingertips, going to make my fingers kind of into a little bit of a claw and I'm just going to make contact, um, on the hair and really get, try to get under the hair, try to stick my fingers underneath the hair and make contact with the scalp. If it's okay with my partner, not everybody wants their, their head or face massaged. Um, and I will make little circles 
um, kind of almost scratching with my fingernails. And then I'm gonna also move my hands um, to the back, making those circles to the sides and to the top. And for folks who like scalp massage, um, our goal is for this to be really enjoyable. And again, we keep our hands moving. So we don't just stay in one spot on the scalp and rub that one spot, which would kind of get irritating, but we keep our hands moving top, um, middle and, and back. So from, even if the person is changing positions, we can use some of the same techniques um, and just adapt them to whatever position the person is in. So I'm gonna ask um, Philip to change his position, but you can stay where you are. I just wanna show you something from a, a different camera angle. So Philip, if you could carefully get up and just turn over to your left side now so that your back is to the camera. And then I'll just straighten up my back. Yeah, and I'll give you this for your knees. Okay, so if someone's laying on their side and you um, are able to reach their back as we just were doing, and this means you're, you're either standing to their side, or I could be sitting in a chair right here. Or if we were on a bed, we could both be on the bed. Um, we, can, we can now have access to the whole back. And this feels, this can feel a little bit strange at first. It's because it's a, it's a, a, a different kind of positioning of the body, like for myself as the person giving the massage, um, but it, if we try it out a few times, it gets to be pretty comfortable. So one thing I can do, um, I just wanna show you what it looks like from the other side. You saw me gliding up and down the side of the torso. So this is what it looks like from this side. I'm just going as far as my partner's hip. You also saw me going all the way down the leg. So just this side surface of the body, really nice to glide on. I'm making full contact with my hand. I'm just getting familiar with that sensation of really, um, really using my entire hand, not just the fingertips, but hand nice and flat on my partner's body. And then something I can do now in order to in order to massage this whole area of the back, I have a few different options. And one is that I'm going to um, take my two hands and I'm gonna put them in a horizontal position. So I'm gonna kind of tilt myself and I'm really just tilting my arms. So take a look at how I'm doing this. Um, I'm, I'm putting one arm above the other. So, so try that out with me. What I'm not doing is I'm not twisting my whole body to get into that position. I'm really just staying nice and upright and I'm putting one hand a little bit higher than the other so that my, both of my arms are horizontal. So let's do that. And then we can rest our two hands at the top of our partner's um, shoulders, make full hand contact. And what I can do now is slowly I can glide my two hands downward. I'm gonna go as far as my partner's waistline. He's got a belt on, so it's pretty easy to know where that is. And then I'm gonna go even slightly farther than that. Maybe I'll ask permission or ask if I'm in, you know, if, if I'm in an okay place. Is this okay? Okay. Oh, it's not always, when you get to this area, it's not always clear. It's not always easy to tell, like how am I getting to be a little bit too low? but it feels so nice to have the low back rubbed that you can ask someone, would you like me to rub your low back here? Do you want me to go another inch or two? Or is this, you know, is this low enough? So, so communicate in that way. And then I'm going to tapped in here and then I'm gonna come back up. So I'm 
just full hand contact, gliding. If you want to take a look at my body, you can see I'm not, um, I haven't totally twisted myself. I'm really stick keeping upright, but I've just got one hand higher up. And that's how I do this um, side lying and gliding on the back. I could also do it right now. I'm standing kind of near my partner's head, but I could do it from this angle too. If I were, if I were kind of like closer to their lower body, then I could start with my hand on the, um, on the lower back. Same thing. One hand's just a bit higher up than the other. And I'm resting my full hand um, flat against my partner's body, making contact, not just the um, fingertips like this, but nice flat hand contact. And now I'm gonna glide um, gently and slowly up and I'm gonna go as far as I can. I wanna actually go all the way to the shoulders and even over the top of it. Come back down. Over the top a bit. Um, so we don't wanna kind of just stay in, in the middle of the back because then we're missing out. And that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just kind of, I'm not quite getting as far as I could. Maybe I'm getting half the back, you know, but I'm really missing out on this lower part. I wanna come all the way down here. Oh my goodness, there's so much going on down here, especially if somebody's pregnant. Their uterus is pulling on the lower back. So I wanna get my hands down here and then come all the way up and go over the top. Hook my fingers over. So this is how, this is one way that we can make contact um, with the back, glide up and down and repeat that, you know, at least 10 times. I'm going kind of a slow to medium pace here. If you notice yourself speeding up and kind of going like, you know, quite fast like this, um, that's not quite our goal. We actually want to slow it down for relaxation purposes. So cut your speed in half. If you find that perhaps you're going at your fastest possible pace, let's cut that down, cut it in half, slow it down, and that's gonna really help bring on a relaxation response. Okay. So something else I can do from, from behind, you can stay in this side plank position, is I can um, massage the back of my partner's neck. And this is a nice feeling. Most people love having their neck um, massaged. And there are a few people out there who prefer not to have their neck massaged. And those people usually know who they are. So check in and just say, is this okay? Is the neck okay? And again, they're either going to love it or there's going to be a few exceptions who won't, but if it's okay with them, is it okay with you? Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to take, I'm going to take my hand. Um, let's see, I want you to be able to see this. Okay. I'm going to take my hand. I'm going to slide my fingers underneath. The, the neck, because I'm standing to their side, fingers underneath, and my thumb is gonna be on the top of the neck. So I'm making this C shape like this, if you wanna take a look, and my fingers are gonna go under and my thumb is gonna go on top. And I could do that with my two hands side by side. So when I come to this area, um, I got my, again, fingers underneath, thumbs on top. I'm just gonna do it with one hand. There's not a lot of room here. Fingers underneath, thumbs on top, thumb on top. And now I'm just gonna, gonna squeeze. I'm gonna grasp it, pull it toward me and let go. Squeeze it toward me. Squeeze it toward me and let go. I kind of have to push my hand under there to really get in there. But anything you can reach from behind the neck is safe usually to massage and squeeze. We wouldn't do this on the front of the neck but anything you can reach from the back is usually fine. So just give it a kind of really grasp that. And I would say use about a medium amount of pressure, squeeze, pull it towards you, let go, squeeze, let go, squeeze, let go. And then ask the person, um, is this pressure okay? Somebody might say a little lighter, you can go heavier. Okay. So usually squeezing the neck is gonna, is gonna 
make somebody feel quite good. Um, something I can also do from this position is I just squeezed the neck, but I can also squeeze the top of the shoulders, the trapezius. So we did that in the, re in the reverse rolls. Um, and the way I can do it here, let's see, I can try to reach both sides. So, so if you can see what I'm doing on the screen here, I'm standing behind my partner. Um, my fingers are going over the shoulders to the front and my thumbs are staying to the back. So see if you can grasp the shoulders in that way. Thumbs to the back. I'm gonna reach my fingers over the front and now I'm gonna squeeze and let go. I'm giving them, I'm giving my partner a shoulder rub. Squeeze and let go. Squeeze and let go. And I've got um, my bottom hand is kind of next to the pillow that they're laying on. I kind of have to push my hand in there a little bit. My top hand has more space and freedom, but I can give a shoulder rub from this position. And again, I want to, I know I can tell I'm using a medium to kind of firm amount of pressure. It's taking more arm strength from me. <laughs> it's a little more work, but um, how does that amount of pressure feel? Good. So again, check in, is this, the, is this okay? You want a little bit less, a little bit more. Um, we don't spend lots of time or the way that I teach is I don't spend, I don't recommend spending lots of time on heavy squeezing because it takes a lot of hand and arm strength but we can throw it in for a few minutes here and there. Keep going, do that about 10 or 15 times. And that's usually very enjoyable. And so we started a few minutes late and I um, apologize for that. I'm gonna go about, I think I'll probably go about five minutes over time, which is be about six minutes from now. Um, so if you can stay with us for that long, that would be great. Um, if you need to go and you have any comments you want to drop in the chat box, you can do that. Um, what I'd like to show you is, is just the last position, which is laying face down. So if someone is not pregnant or not um, far along in their pregnancy so that they've got, you know, um, an enlarged abdomen, we can lay, we can lay face down. So I'm going to ask Philip to carefully switch his position. Yeah, okay, to be, oh, to be face down. And one thing I'm going to help him out with here, feel free to do this. I've got a, I've got a kind of an ordinary bed pillow and I'm going to put this under his, I'm going to put this under his chest because it, um, it creates a bit of a curve in the upper back that makes it more comfortable for his, his head um to lay on his side and could you turn your head Philip, to face the screen for a moment so he's he's kind of got his face his head is to the side here so experiment with that it depends on what the how the front of somebody's body feels if somebody is um larger breasted or if they have sensitivity in the chest area um they may or may not find this this helpful but i'm putting this here because i know we tried it out that for philip's body shape it makes it easier. If I didn't have that, he'd be laying down and his neck would be a bit cramped. Um, but if you know how to lay on your belly, if you know how to lay face down in a way that feels good to you, then do that. That's what we're going for right now. Um, so one thing I'm gonna do that's kind of fun in this position, um, again, I'm standing or sitting next to my partner. I'm gonna take my hands and I'm going to make some loose fists right now. So if you take a look, you see I've got my loose fists. And with, with that, I'm going to, I'm going to take this, um, how can I describe which side of the, the, the fist I'm using? I'm going to kind of point my fists toward my partner's body. So if you take a look at the screen, you'll see how I'm doing that. And I'm just going to rest my two fists on my partner's, um, the side of my partner's hips. And, um, Oh, and somebody's asking a question, are we going to have time for face massage? I'd be happy to do that. And I have a feeling I might have to go a little bit more over time. If you're able to stay, that would be great. And if not, um, I'm going to do it anyway, and it will be in, in, the, in the video for you. So I'd be happy to do that. Um, so two fists and look at how they're, I'm, I'm facing them forward. I'm going to lightly rest them um, on the side of my partner's hip. And then I'm going to lightly rock my partner 
And let's see, there we go. So take a look at the camera. And what I'm doing is I'm putting, it's pretty light pressure. I'd say light to medium pressure. And I, I'm going rock, rock, rock. And I had to feel around a little bit. I started out a little too high. Oh, that, that kind of works too. So just try out different, try out the placement of your hand. Um, this is a gentle rocking. I'm not using force. I'm just really lightly rocking my partner. And I'm doing a little bit from a little bit lower down, a little bit higher up until I find that right, just the right spot. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my two fists and I'm going to move up and down my partner's body. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to press forward into the side of the leg and I'm going to go rock, rock, rock. And I'm going to keep going down the body. And if this feels kind of like a new and unfamiliar thing, I'd say feel free to kind of slow it down Take your time with it. See if you can get it to feel right. If you can't get it to feel right, you can skip it and come back to it at another time. I could even do it, I think, on the upper body. Does that feel okay? Yeah, it's, it's just a nice motion. Yeah. Okay. So again, fists facing forward, loose fists. It's not a, you know, we're not kind of tensing up here. And then I'm, I'm putting some motion into my partner's body. Um, something else that we can do on the back, well, there's a lot we can do on the back. Um, we can do some, uh, I'm going to call it kind of like a, almost a scratching motion, and I'm going to make circles. Um, so, so again, so now I'm changing, I am doing a little bit of a fingertip motion here, which is kind of the exception. We don't do a lot of that, but I am going to make, um, use my fingertips and I have to, um, and I, what I would like to do now is, uh, and I'll say goodbye to to somebody who's who's signing off. Um, I'm gonna make I'm gonna make circles with my fingertips, and I'm not using anything more than a medium pressure here. And I can do this. Really, I can make these circles on a lot of different areas of the, my partner's back. So I can do it kind of to the side that's closer to me, circles, lower back, upper back, and then I can reach across and do this, um, do these circles. So that's an interesting stroke we can use on the back. If I were standing, up here, I could do the same thing. I could just kind of use my fingers, medium pressure, not very firm, but just making circles. Okay. Um, and now that I'm standing close to my partner's head, I'm, um, I'm actually kind of directly facing downward on the body. But if that, if that angle wasn't available to me because the, this was a bed that was next to a wall, I could step to the side as well. But, but since I'm able to, to be uh, right at the head, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna take my two hands in this um, parallel kind of, kind of horizontal position again, just like we did when the person was lying on their side. And I'm actually going to now just turn that so my hands are, are flat. They're just laying flat um, on the top of my partner's back. And I'm just gonna glide my two hands down um, on either side of the spine. I don't wanna be on the spine itself. I wanna avoid the spine. I don't wanna push on the bones of the spine, but my hands are on either side of the spine. And now I'm gonna glide slowly down to about the waistline, maybe a little further and come back up. Glide down, pop that in there, okay. And glide back up. I'm making full contact with my hands. And this is one of the most basic strokes in Swedish massage is just to glide up and down 
right next to either side of the spine, flat hands, just covering this, this nice big area of the back. I could do that about 10 times or more at least. If the way it would, what it would look like if I was standing to the side, um, is I, I'd pretty much be doing the same thing. I'm noticing my hands are, can't face my hands exactly straight down the spine, but I can, um, yeah, I can do that. I can get pretty close to that. So if it feels like you're um, standing to the side and you're kind of twisting your body a little bit, just be aware of how you're using your body. If something hurts, then um, don't, don't force yourself to give a massage in a position that hurts the person giving the massage. You wanna adjust your positioning a bit. How can I, uh, how can I change where I'm standing? It might even be just taking one step to the side so that you are more comfortable, but we don't want the person giving or receiving the massage to, um, to feel hurt. And the one more thing I can do here, um, this we did, it's kind of similar. We did this from the side, but if I want to give the person a shoulder rub when he was on his side, what if I want to give the person a shoulder rub, they're laying down flat. I can just um, uh, kind of position myself um, a little bit downward on their body. I'm facing the person's head. And then I can just take my hands and kind of hook my fingers over the tops of the shoulders um, so that my thumbs stay to the back. So if you take a look here, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna take my hands like this, hook them over, and I'm just gonna, gonna squeeze them. I'm, I'm, my thumb is doing a lot of the work here. Squeezing and let go, squeezing and let go. Medium amount of pressure and um, I imagine that you might already have experience with this. And if, if, it's, if it's something that's new, then just do it a lot of times. And it's just like learning to dance. The more we do it, the more natural it becomes to, to do the steps. It's kind of like steps of the dance. So just do it over and over again and it'll feel um, more and more comfortable. And one, one last thing I will, I will do if you're with someone and um, let's see, and they're laying down on their front, their back or their side, they might be fully dressed. They might have bare skin. Um, and the strokes are really the same, the strokes and techniques. So if someone is, um, you know, either dressed or, or maybe they've got some bare skin, we can finish up by covering them with a, with a sheet. And this is nice. It, um, it changes the sensation just a little bit to put another layer on top of them. And um, what I can do now is I can just glide on top of the sheet itself. I can't see everything that I'm doing, so I'm gonna kind of feel my way um, to the degree that I'm comfortable and I think and my partner's comfortable. But now I can glide, if you watch this, I'm gliding on the sheet, getting to the hip area, leg down toward the feet. And then I'm gonna glide back up, hip up to the shoulder. And it's just a little different sensation. I've, I've covered them up and I'm kind of finishing things off. Um, I'm kind of bringing everything together by gliding on top of the sheet one last time. And I can kind of travel the whole length of the body. So I am going to, to um, pause right here, but I'm going to stay on the line and thank you for being here.